everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got another adorable owls card for you today. Um, it features our adorable owls, which is a free celebration stamp set, um, January, February, 2023. You can get it free with a $50 purchase. All right, we're gonna make this kind of sunset background here where I live in South Texas. The skies have been amazing. We have been ooing and aahing over the sunsets a lot lately. So I wanted to create a sunset for my little owl. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm using two other stamp sets. We're gonna use the rays of light um, to emboss the sunset, the rays over the sunset. And then the sentiment comes from Happy Labels, a new cute little stamp set. All right, I'm gonna last but not least take some of that st starry sky and do up here at the top, very top. That's where we want it to be the darkest. So I'm not gonna do a whole lot there. All right, I don't think my arm can do much more, but there we have it, a sunset. Kind of looks a little weird right now, but we're gonna emboss those sun rays over it, put some clouds, and it's gonna fade into the background. I'm gonna give it some time to kind of dry out because we're gonna put embossing powder on top of it. And we need the ink to mostly be dry. So in the meantime, we'll do our other stamping. All right, we've got our cute little owl. We're gonna stamp him in memento black and color him with smoky slate. I'm using Memento Black because that's the ink you wanna use when you're using your alcohol markers. All right, we'll start with the light smoky slate. I'm gonna do the inside part of his face and his belly in the light smoky slate. You can color your owl any color you want. I've done three adorable owl projects so far and they're all colored with different colors my friend colored them with colors like 
green and purple and they were super cute. So don't be afraid to use color on your adorable owls. I'm gonna kind of stick with a neutral because our background is so vibrant. All right, let's do dark smoky slate up here at the top. And then the rest of his body. We've got three owls in the stamp set. This is our little flying guy. We've got a birthday owl and then a really cute one that has a bow tie. All right, now his eyes need some color. Let's use a balmy blue like that. Be careful, you don't wanna get color in the whites of his eyes. I'm gonna add a little bit of Wink of Stella to give his eyes a little shimmer. We'll use pumpkin pie for his feet and his beak. He is just the cutest. All right, grab your paper snips. These don't have dies, so we've got to use our good old fashioned elbow grease. And you want to get a little pair of scissors. Stampin' Up! has these. They're called paper snips, and they are perfect for fussy cutting. Start by cutting off all the excess cardstock. That's going to make it easier for you to kind of get down into those little nooks and crannies as we go around. And just stay right on the outside of that black line. Not Try not to cut into it. Stay just on the outside. Now, I pulled in a different sentiment stamp set for this, but the set does come with three different sayings that you can use. But I like to pull out my fancy sentiment sayings sometimes to make us a, a card just a little extra special. You kind of personalize it to whatever need that you have. All right, there we go. Isn't he just the cutest? Now, I have cut out two pieces of basic white using this die right here. It's from our basic border dies. It is a cloud border. I use this a ton. And we're gonna stamp that sentiment in starry sky. And I'm gonna practice on my grid paper first. Let's see how straight it is. Sometimes, especially my rubber, red rubber stamps, I don't mount them very straight, so I have to practice and see. Sometimes I have to tip it up a little bit, tip it down a little bit, but these photopolymers are really easy to get straight because you can see exactly what you're doing. All right, it's time to emboss our background. So let's bring it over. I'm gonna use my Stamparatus and let's grab our background. These colors kind of blend together as they sit. Sometimes I think, oh, that doesn't look good and then I set it aside and I come back to it and it just looks better kind of like they have to marinate a little bit. Now I'm gonna use my Stamparatus because this is a big, juicy stamp and I'm gonna need to really add a lot of ink to it and maybe stamp a couple of times. All right, so let's see, do I have it lined up straight? I wanna use my grid lines to make sure it's straight and then I'm gonna see my paper's a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive to hold it there so I don't have to use the magnets because the paper's not big enough for the magnets. Okay, we'll set those on there to hold the grid paper. I'm gonna use Versamark. Versamark is a clear ink that helps you emboss. It will grab onto those embossing crystals, granules, and help, um, help you emboss your, your piece. Now, one thing I want to definitely do before I ink this is grab my embossing buddy. Now, because this is already covered in ink, 
Some of the embossing powder is gonna stick in places we don't want it to. Um, the embossing powder is gonna, or the embossing buddy is gonna help that, hopefully, not be too big of a problem. You're also gonna probably wanna grab a paintbrush. Looks like all I have is my fat one, but I think we'll be okay. There's a lot of embossing landscape here. So I'm not too terribly worried about it sticking in places that it shouldn't because there's not very many places that it shouldn't. I'm gonna do this a couple of times. I'm gonna kind of build up that ink on there. Let's see, and you can kind of look and see just how much ink you have. It looks like I'm not getting very much ink over here. I know you guys probably can't see it because it's clear, but on my end, I can definitely see it. Now, really, all we're concerned about is this part because most of this is gonna be covered up anyway. All right, looks pretty good. I may not have had my paper slid over quite far enough, so we might have to trim our paper, but that's okay. Maybe it would be better to start with a larger piece of paper and then cut it down when you're done. All right, let's add clear embossing powder all over. Really get it saturated in the powder. All right, now it looks like it's sugar coated. You can see over here on the edge where I didn't go, didn't slide my paper over quite far enough. But that's okay. All right, now I'm gonna use this right here to hold this. And it's gonna take me a little bit of time, so I'll speed up the video, but it's gonna turn it all shiny. All right, now, can you guys see that? Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, you don't have to worry about it being perfect because for one, as you can see, this is a distressed stamp. So those aren't going to be solid rays, right? Um, and it's all just kind of, um, blends into the background to make that gorgeous sunset background. All right, I trimmed my paper just a bit so that we wouldn't see that hard edge from my background stamp. I'm gonna take my first, if I can find my adhesive, my first layer of clouds, and I'm gonna set that down with just regular adhesive. And I'm gonna lower it a little bit because it was a little bit too high. It was losing some of that orange color. All right, so now let's take our scissors or your trimmer and match the edge of your paper. When you cut with a border, you're never quite sure exactly how big the paper needs to be because you don't know how much you're gonna cut off. So play around with it. Now this one, we're gonna do dimensionals across the bottom like that. You wanna leave room so that your little owl can kind of slide down in there. And I don't wanna to go too far down because I'm gonna lose my sentiment. Let's see, I think that's okay. We'll trim off that one. There we go, that looks really good. All right, and now for the star of the show, our little owl. And I'm gonna put him down kind of flying between the clouds. <laughs> I mean, isn't he just the absolute cutest? All right, grab a basic white card base and some dimensionals. And we're just gonna mount him on here. Well, that dimensional didn't work out so well. Let's try one more. You know, I leave a little bowl here to put my dimensional backs in and I just end up flicking them around. <laughs> I find them everywhere. Do you guys do that? Ugh. All right, there you go. Let's look at it. Now remember, they're always gonna be different. Mine are pretty similar, but no matter what, however you use the ink, it's gonna be a little bit different each time. All right, click the link here on YouTube, hop back over to my blog. It's got the measurements and the supply list and two other adorable owl projects. I hope you enjoyed this and let me know if you have questions. Have fun stamping, guys. Bye.